Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Dear students, how are you? I hope all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also well. Welcome to our online platform of NIVS Home School. Dear students, here I am Muhammad Farooq Hussain, Assistant English Teacher of National Ideal English Version School. And now I am going to conduct an English language class for the students of class 2. And this is your first class. And in your first class, we will discuss from your Enjoying Grammar book, Lesson 1, Exercise 1 and 4. And you have also a homework regarding Exercise 4. Dear students, this uh, lesson is about common and proper nouns. So, in your book, first of all, you can see the picture of television, then car, then toothpaste, soft drink and other things and uh, first of all you should know what is common noun and what is proper noun <coughs> dear students a common noun is a name of a person a place animal or thing that means uh, person or city uh, or place that is called uh, a common noun but on the other hand proper noun Proponon means the special name of a person or a place or uh, anything, okay, or any animal. Dear students, what do you mean by a special name? A special name, imagine that name. Name is common, but if I say my name, my name is Farooq Hussain, on that case, this name is proper noun. So, name is common noun, but Farooq Hussain or any one of your name is proper noun. Similar way, city. You know that Dhaka is a city or town, what, uh, whatever you like. So, city or town is common. But, on the other hand, if I say the name of Dhaka city, Joshua city, or Khulna city, Borishal city, that Borishal, Dhaka, Joshua, Khulna, that would be proper noun. Because that is a special name. So, these are the basic differences between proper noun and common nouns. Dear students, now uh, we will come to our examples and it's from your Enjoying Grammar book, page number 2. Uh, it's Enjoying Grammar, lesson 1, exercise 1 and 4, reading done, okay? This is exercise 1, okay? These are common nouns and these are proper nouns. Dear students, in common, chocolate. So, it's common. So, we have to write some special names of this chocolate so amul and kit kat you may write if you have any uh, chocolate favorite you may write that names here then soap it's lark lux and dove that's you know that soap is common but uh, lux and dove or other you may write uh, about uh, uh, yeah other uh, soaps name uh, it may be live boy or central in I like this okay uh, that's our special name as a result that's our proper noun okay then school restaurants uh, here you have to write uh, some schools name that means you know that our national ideal school or national ideal English version school that's our proper noun but school is common noun because school contains all the schools that is called that's why it's common noun that's not city or what I told you it before. City, city, Dhaka city, Khulna city, Borishal, Joshua. Okay, I like this. Then month. Dear students, you know that this is January month. So you may write about January, February, May or June, whatever you like. But I will suggest you to write those months name uh, whose spellings are too much tiny. Because if you write the a uh, big month's name then you may get some uh, spelling mistakes okay that's this is all about exercise number one and in your book you will get exercise number two it's about Delhi uh, in India so I hope uh, it would be easier for you to underline what is told in exercise two and three and uh, now we will try to solve exercise number four Dear students, to solve this exercise number 4, 
first of all we need to read few sentences uh, from the book the sentences are number 1 my aunt lives in chennai this is my dog rambo destrants in the first sentence chennai you know that chennai is a city so chennai would be proper nouns okay chennai would be written here then this is my dog rambo destrants dog means all the dogs okay so dog would be a uh, common noun and rambo rambo is a special name so it would be proper noun and as in aunt aunt means all aunts so it would be common nouns number 3 the river uh, yamuna flows through delhi dear students here river means all the rivers all the rivers so it would be common noun and yamuna and delhi yamuna is the name of a river so it's a special name and delhi also is the name of a province of india so it also would be in proper noun okay yamuna and delhi then omit omit forgot to post the letter dear students please be noted that omit omit is a name i told you that any special name would be proper noun so omit and then letter letter means all the letters okay it would be common nouns maya has read many books dear students maya is a name and books means all the books not a specific book if i say you about gitanjali or uh, or devdas uh, or macbeth or hamlet this is special name of book so that would be proper noun but all the its book that means it's all the books so it it would be books would be common noun okay and same way maya name it would be special name so it would be in proper nouns in six paris is the capital of france destrance paris special name france is special name because paris is the is a capital and france is the name of a country so it is the name of a, a capital and it's the name of a country so these two are uh, these two are uh, special names so it would be uh, in proper nouns paris and france but destrance this capital capital means all the capitals all the capitals not a specific union so it would be in common nouns number 7 my brother my mother bakes delicious cakes dear students mother and cakes mother is there any specific name of your mother or my mother no there is no specific name uh, regarding my mother so it would be all mothers so mothers and cakes would be a uh, uh, common noun okay then uh, number 8 the children are playing dear students the children okay the children are playing the children means all the children okay so the children would be a uh, common noun because there is no specific name dear students be noted that although it's your first class so i have written homework number 1 again then it would be from your enjoying grammar book lesson 1 exercise 4 that means these are your homeworks you have to uh, draw this chart as your first homework and its submission date is 29 uh, january 2022 dear students this is the end of the class i hope you all got understood today's class and uh, you will practice it at home more and more this is the end of the class assalamu alaikum warahmatullah